I hate you, coronavirus. Why must you take away from me everything that I love? Now, let us not downplay the impact of the coronavirus. Let's not make light of any of the deaths that have happened. There have been about, what, 20,000 people minimum infected in China, more than 700 deaths reported. So we are not downplaying that at all. We are not mocking those deaths. We are in no way in this video making light of the plight of people in China or trapped on cruise ships in Japan or New Jersey. What we are doing is putting aside the human element and focusing on for this video the implications as far as the tech world and my own personal gratification. That said, let's get into this. Damn you, coronavirus! I want just a couple of things in life and you've taken them from me. Elden Ring. Oh, Elden Ring was so close. I was this close to finding out information about it, but you had to rear your ugly head and cancel the Taipei Game Show. It may be happening in the summer. It may not be happening at all. It may be happening somewhere else. It may be happening. I don't know. I tried to make that rhyme, but Dr. Seuss, unfortunately, is not on staff. I think he's dead. So, Taipei Game Show is canceled. Delayed, whatever you want to call it. I'm not getting my Elden Ring this week. I should have gotten it yesterday. But no. And now, even worse news. If it's even possible. It is very, very much potentially possible that next gen may end up getting delayed due to the coronavirus. But how's that possible? I'll tell you how it's possible. China. China is something that I think the whole world relies on a little too much. And when something like this happens, yes, we may rely on China a bit too much because China's economy is getting thrown into the wood chipper Fargo style. And as a result, the rest of us are getting screwed. And what do I mean by that? Next gen is getting delayed, both hardware and software wise, gameplay wise, because Many, many, many of these consoles, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, are produced in China by companies like Foxconn. If you don't know who Foxconn is, they basically make all your iPads and plenty of other stuff, including Xboxes and Playstations and their giant factories where people come to live and want to work at because there's no work in the villages and then they throw themselves off the roofs. This is true. They had to install suicide nets. And they are shutting down. They are quarantining their workers because they do not want to risk coronavirus. And I don't blame them. 700 people dead. Minimum. Probably more. The Chinese government are dicks about reporting actual numbers. Uh, yeah. So, there's that. And now, let's actually think about video game-wise. Not just hardware, but the production of games. We Westerners, uh, who are just amazed with uh, the profits and savings that come with farming everything out to China are just idiots when it came to this because it seems a lot of our Western developers farm out their art making, art development to artists in China. Now, I'm not against giving starving artists in China who probably literally are starving because they're living in China. I'm not against giving them work but when an entire industry becomes dependent on that manufacturing style, art development house, yada yada yada, look what happens when there's even a slightest kink in the mach machine. Many developers are probably going to have to either put projects on hold or find a new source of artist and actually pay them a decent living wage, which means that it's going to take longer to find somebody that they like or somebody that they're willing to pay or willing to accept dirt poor pay. And that's going to just slow things down even further. So, yes, coronavirus, I hate you because you are potentially screwing up next gen in so many ways. Now, this is going to be just a delay. We've already seen stuff about the coronavirus, how it's killing only maybe 1% or less of those infected, which is still a lot, but it's less than SARS. It's not as... It transmits quickly, but it doesn't kill. It's not as deadly as SARS. But still, 
this is something that is going to set China back and therefore set back the whole world and set back my gaming gratification. So, am I, could I benefit from an extra $600 in my pocket for, uh, an extra couple months? Yes, probably. But, I've already got it earmarked. So, this has been kind of a rant video, but hey, why not? Uh, I hope that others are not as crazy as I am and feeling the uh, summertime blues from realizing that next gen may get delayed by this. But then again, maybe I'm super crazy and none of you have realized this yet. And by watching this video, you will experience the summertime blues as the realization comes crashing down upon you that that thing that you wanted, you are not getting yet. All right, tell me what you think in the doobly doo down below. Like, Comment, subscribe, do it now! Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Rated RPG. I appreciate you checking out the channel. Be sure to hit that like button if you liked what you saw, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to hit that bell icon for notifications so you can get all the latest updates from Rated RPG.